Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. So you can see Sarah's with me today. Hello. And uh, we're going to take the cover off the... Uh, it's cold up here. It is very cold. We're going to take the cover off the uh, caravan today. Uh, it's been on there for over two months now. Um, I don't think the weather's going to improve anymore or get any worse, hopefully. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, set up to uh, set the camera up so that we can uh, get this cover off. Thanks. Well, that was a bit of a fight with the wind, actually. So uh, I know it's not in the bag properly. It's um, just uh, too windy today to uh, get it in the bag properly. We'll take it home. And uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, unfold it again in the garden, uh, which is more sheltered, and uh, put it away properly then. Um, but for now, it's actually in the bag, if you like. So, But uh, yeah, we'll get the straps all uh, cleared away. Uh, we'll take a walk around the outside the caravan and uh, go on the inside and just make sure everything's fine. Like I say, the caravan's been on for about two and a half months, Sarah. About two and a half months. So uh, it's just uh, really a, a, a progress report, basically, just to see uh, how it's got on uh, over this uh, rainy period and wind and everything else. So, um, yeah, we'll uh, come back to you in a minute. Hello, right, we're back in the caravan now. We've got the cover off. Um, as you can see, um, when I first opened the door, um, it was very warm in here. It wasn't cold. It wasn't, uh, there was nothing damp uh, in here at all. Um, like I say, we'd left all the cupboards open so that we could actually come up here uh, once a fortnight and just leave it to air. And, uh, and then after that, um, it was just a case of uh, just maintaining what we was doing. Um, just for anyone who's interested, this is Sally. Say hello to everyone, Sally. Hello, babe. <laughs> okay, this is Sarah. And <laughs> um, in fact, I, I, a little secret on this video is that my wife likes showing everyone her nails. So go on, Sarah, show everyone your nails. They're nice, aren't they? And there you go. <laughs> White room, Storrington. Sorry? White room, Storrington. Okay. Okay, right, we've got that out of the way. Can you not do your nails anymore? Okay, right, so Sally, do you want to move? Good girl. Right, so yes, as I was saying anyway, sorry about that, slight diversion. Um, everything in the caravan is perfect. It's not damp. There is a mark just there, but I think that's probably for me, actually. Oh, no, look, it's gone. There you go. It was a bit of hair, I think. So, yeah, everything in here is perfect. We're going to put it all back how it should be. And, uh, and then we'll come back to you. Oh, by the way, these are the dehumidifiers and they are open and there's no water, nothing in them at all. Absolutely nothing. There's another one over there. There's another one over there as well, which has got nothing in it. And I think that's purely, like Sarah just said, it's down to the fact that we actually had the uh, caravan cover on. So yeah, give us two minutes and we will come back to you. Okay, so we just sorted out a few bits in the, in the caravan and uh, just put it back to some normality after winter and getting the caravan cover off. Um, but I thought what we'd do just quickly before we go home and leave the caravan for another couple of weeks was um, just basically to tell you um, about me and Sarah, something we've never done in any of our videos. I think the very first video that I did... Um, I think we basically just, you know, said to everyone that we'd been uh, caravanning for about 25 years. In fact, it's a little bit less than that. So uh, it's about 21 years now. Um, we've had four different caravans, haven't we? Mm, and um, yeah, we've had uh, uh, two Baileys. Yeah. And we had a Swift and we had a... Pageant. Is no, this is, no, yes, that was a Bailey. That was the Bailey. Oh, oh, but yeah. Um, yeah, we've had um, about four caravans altogether. Uh, and this one is uh, probably uh, by far the best um, layout wise for us um, because the children have uh, gone a long time ago. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this one really works for us. Um, let me just get up a minute here and uh, we'll just quickly show you okay. 
yeah thanks um just show you now we've got it all sorted there's sally again um so that doesn't normally sit up on there that normally it rides down there on the floor um and uh, everything else is um now been put back uh how it should be the bed now laying back down um that green thing up there that is a um, a bistro chair i think a, a table sorry i think i told you about that it's before gray. is it gray sarah yeah. Well, I'm colourblind anyway, so uh, yes, grey. Um, but yeah, let's just uh, quickly go outside here and um, just to have a look. And um, probably this is probably more interested, interesting than anything else part of the caravan. Um, now, we've not, I've not done any, I've literally, we've just taken this cover off and um, we've just done nothing. I haven't brushed it, I haven't wiped it down, not done a thing yet. In fact, we uh, the foam, the foam is still up on the corner there, so I've still got to take that off. But yeah, she's um, really, really clean. She's actually as clean as uh, when we put it away, and I think that's uh, probably uh, a testament to the Protec cover. I've got a little bit of a black mark there. I don't know if you can just see that in the center of your screen. Um, but I think that was probably from last time. Yeah, I would say that was from last time. But yeah, um, the back of this caravan um, with the Protec cover, um, took the brunt of all the storms and the wet weather that we've had um, so I say you know I just cannot rave about that caravan cover enough it really has done a perfect job and like I say we'll take this caravan cover home and we'll put it back in the bag properly but uh, yeah there's my axle stands never got to use them this year unfortunately but uh, yeah so uh, we'll uh, end this video here and um, what we'll do is uh, when, the, uh, when we get a chance, we'll take it home and uh, we'll uh, give her a clean up. And, we've had uh, to cancel our May one. Yes, we've had to cancel a couple of the um, Early ones. Uh, earlier holidays that we were going to take. Um, one was down to Little Hampton Caravan and uh, Caravan and Motown Club. Uh, we was going to go down there for uh, four, four nights. So we've had to cancel that one. That was uh, actually very soon, wasn't it? Mm. But uh, yeah, so what we've done is uh, instead of uh, going there, we're gonna do some other bits and pieces around the caravan. And uh, we also, what was the other one we canceled? That was the New Forest, oh, Black Knoll. Yeah we, yeah, we had to cancel that one as well, unfortunately. Um, but uh, things being the way they are, you have gotta be safe. And uh, with this uh, coronavirus, it's, um, you know it certainly does make you think but anyway I enough about that well yes there's that as well <laughs> but uh, yeah it uh, certainly does make you think um actually just while i think about it um caravan nut was saying uh, uh on his last video that um uh someone said about preserving the hinges um on the uh, uh on the cupboards um and mine have gone a bit loose so i'm gonna have to have a look at mine so uh be interested to see what you do with yours, Martin, and uh, hopefully they sort of same uh, same hinge as what we've got there. But uh, anyway, okay, well let's leave that there. Anyway, like, subscribe, um, give us a thumbs up if you uh, found it interesting, um, and uh, if if only for the comedy for getting the caravan cover off. But uh, anyway, um, my nails. Well, yeah, my wife's nails. Okay, so uh, say goodbye, Sarah. Ta-da! <laughs> and we'll see you soon. Take care. Now, I just want to add this into the video, actually. I know I've already said goodbye to everyone, but I uh, uh, just want to add this into the uh, the video. Now, uh, um, a few people um, on YouTube have had problems with their uh, Elko uh, wheel lock. And um, now, please don't get me wrong. I'm not treating anyone like an idiot or anything like that at all. But unless you've got this, this little rubber cover that goes over the front of your uh, lock, um, it will corrode up, it'll rust up and stuff like that. I'm more corroded than anything else um but i haven't taken this off i literally this is straight from uh after saying my goodbyes i take this cover off and that just literally sits over the front excuse the wind now there you go and there you go so it's um there's nothing in there there's no uh gel there's no uh, oil anything in there at all it's nice and dry and I thought I would just share that with you the only thing that I've actually got anything on at all in there is the actual threaded um, tube that goes on to the axle um, I put a little bit of copper slip on that 
because I thought that would be quite vulnerable that part but this part like I say if you've got that rubber bung and again I'm not treating anyone like an idiot as long as you've got that little rubber bung that will stay corrode free hopefully well it, it has for us anyway so anyway I just thought I'd add that in